Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's DJ Rick Webb and today we're going to be talking yet again about one of my favorite softwares that I use. Yes, I use this every single day. HoneyBook. HoneyBook is my CRM of choice that I use to basically run my whole entire business. I've made multiple videos about HoneyBook and how it works and how I use it for my business because yes, I do use HoneyBook for my business. It is my personal CRM. It's how all my clients are organized. It's how I keep myself sane with all the leads we get. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my absolute favorite feature in HoneyBook. I don't think people use it. Like this thing is so powerful. It's how you can like automate your business. It is super powerful. It's called workflows. So let's jump on over to the computer and let's dive through what workflows can do for you so you can get a grasp of how it works and how you can utilize it. All right, guys, as you guys can see on the screen right now, we are in the HoneyBook dashboard or the home screen, basically, that gives you basically your command window for HoneyBook. If you guys are unfamiliar with this, please go check out my other two videos that kind of explain what HoneyBook is in terms of an overview. This is a more detailed video to talk specifically about workflows which is by far my favorite thing ever because it automizes a lot of stuff that I do so just to give you guys an idea real quick these workflows are already in place in all of my projects there's different workflows for different projects so I'll talk about that here in a second but basically every day all I do is I come to this task window right here and also you can view this task window inside of the HoneyBook app on your phone anywhere and do these tasks as well so right here you are seeing my honeybook tasks that I need to do today or overdue tasks as well so you can see right here uh, these are tasks I manually put in so I can always add a task right here and I can name it I can pick a due date and I can select a project so I can do that manually if I want or a lot of these are generated automatically because of the workflows I have in place. So these first three at the top, these are actually manual enters ones. That's why there's no workflow right here attached to it. So you got due date, project, and workflow. These right here at the bottom are automated generated tasks that ha are generated based on workflows that are in place on those projects. So uh, text follow-up phone call links. Basically, I had a phone call with uh, Kelsey last night, and uh, basically I sent her a brochure. And then this is an automated task that comes up for me that I need to send her a text today and basically follow up on the phone call we had. There's also some ones down here, Brittany and Craig, this was a wedding that just happened not too long ago for me, about a week ago based on my workflow. And you can see right here, this is my four booked with DJ workflow. So this is a follow up basically that if they have not already left a review for me, I'm going to go on wedding wire and the knot and I'm going to put their email in to leave a review. Then you have a transfer to follow up, send pricing brochure. So this was a lead, as you can see, 2020 lead with DJ. And uh, it's basically saying that that workflow is now over and I need to transfer this lead to the pricing workflow where I'm going to send her the pricing and I need to transfer to that workflow. These are different workflows for different stages of the leads that I have inside of HoneyBook. Now, Basically, a workflow is a set of tasks that need to be done in a certain order, and you can set up those tasks, and I will show you guys that here in a second, but I'm trying to get you guys to the idea of what these do. Basically, every one of my leads that come in, whether they're a book project, I have a workflow inside of that project that takes care of letting me know what I need to do throughout the process, as well as the workflow will automatically send emails to that client. So as you can see, this can get very, very powerful. So let me go to projects real quick. All right, so inside of projects, this is, if you guys have never used HoneyBook before, again, check out my older videos, but this is your pipeline. So this is where all of your leads, all of your projects are in the phase throughout your business. So you start all the way on the left with an inquiry. A lot of these fields are custom ones that I have added. Then you move into the proposal signed, retainer paid, and then you get into the booking and then you get into the complete phase that is over here on the right. So if you guys have watched my older videos, you know that a lot of these categories are, there's a lot more in here now than what I used to have. A couple of these fields, that's wedding show and Facebook lead, these have like very tailored specific workflows for that sort of lead. Um, I'm not really gonna get into that, but the general ones, um, for all the leads we get from like the wedding wire, the knot, vendor referrals, people that just uh, fill out our contact form on our website, they go into inquiry first, 
then they move into follow-up, then they move in the brochure set, and then they move in the long-term funnel. Sometimes they skip right into brochure sent, depending on if they just contact me right off the bat. But basically, the inside of follow-up, inside of brochure sent, inside of long-term funnel, I have a workflow set up for that specific stage in the pipeline. And just to give you guys a general idea, the follow-up sequence is a very aggressive seven day, like I'm trying to like get you to contact, talk to me. That's all the follow-up sequence is. I'm just trying to get you to talk to me. That's all it is. So most of the time they skip right into brochure sent. That's when I send them a brochure. That's when I have a phone call with them. That's when I basically give them pricing. And that, that workflow lasts about a month and that's kind of a semi-aggressive trying to get you basically to book. And then if, if they go all the way through that process and say, I really haven't heard back from them, they go into a long-term funnel, which is basically like a six month campaign. It leads all the way up to their wedding, just sending them information and following up with them because I never let a lead die. So basically workflows, and I haven't even dove into workflows yet to even show you what all it does. It is how you make your, your follow-up sequence automized. It's automized so you don't have to think about it. Also, little side thing, if you guys are not following up with your leads, and I'm not saying like you follow up with them once, twice, three times, four. No, you need to be following up with your leads at least five times before you can consider that lead dead. And I never let a lead die, like I just said, unless they basically tell me to. But I also do that in a non-annoying way, and I'm not going to go into how I do that. That would take a very extensive video and it talks about basically marketing and how I do marketing and how I do my emails and how I do my texts so that I'm not annoying and stuff like that and it's it's in a non salesy way because it needs to be millennial friendly good plug right now I'm gonna be in Vegas in February doing a seminar on millennial marketing and I will talk a little bit about those specific emails and how I send those emails but now let's get into the goodies of what workflows are and how you set them up. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to tools and you're going to go to workflows. Pretty simple. Now, as you can see here, I have a ton of workflows already set up in here. And a lot of these I'm not using anymore. The ones I'm using now are all the 2020 ones and the Facebook ads and the wedding show 2019, which is going to be uh, revamped here very shortly for the wedding shows in 2020. But let me show you guys how you create a new workflow. So we're going to create a new workflow template just so you guys can see how the process works. All right, so first thing, let's give it a title. And this is a, just a, a way to reference what this is. So I'm going to call it YouTube ads. So say I run YouTube ads, I'm going to create a YouTube ad campaign. Inside of workflows, there's multiple things you can do. So you can create a task. So this is like a reminder for you to do something. So a reminder to check their planning form, a reminder to follow up with the bride and groom, a reminder to text your lead. Hey, a reminder, it's been a week. So basically, I'll, I'll create a task for you guys. Um, so this is create a task and you just title the task. So remind me to upload a video or you can just name it. So follow up text with lead one week old down below it is how you set the time period. So you have days obviously, and you have multiple options so you can set basically zero days after activating this workflow. So say you get a brand new lead and you apply a workflow to it. The initial tasks uh, would be zero days after activating the workflow or maybe say seven days after activating the workflow is when we want to do be a one week reminder. You could also do tasks related to before the project date and after the project date. And you can do after the previous step has been complete. So if you wanna do a sequence of events you can do after the previous step has been complete as well. Sometimes that works really good for like a long-term follow-up where you want to follow up every 30 days following it. So you set up that. I'm going to make this after activating the workflow, we're going to do seven days. So that way I'm reminded to follow up with this lead one week after. So uh, let's create another one down here. You can also send a questionnaire or you can send a brochure. So what is really cool about questionnaires it, I use Vibo so I don't use questionnaires but if you wanted to use just HoneyBook you could and have your planning form be a questionnaire so if you s say you set up a, a booked workflow for when you book a client you apply the booked workflow to 
that profile. Well, one of the things you can set is send a questionnaire. And look, uh, right here is a planning form. These are the generic ones that they give you. Look, you can send a you can send a ceremony planning form, a post wedding survey, a reception planning form, a sample questionnaire. So, and you can go into your templates and create your own questionnaires, as you guys know. Say I want to send a a post wedding survey. So this is going to give you guys a good idea right here. So I'm going to send a questionnaire post wedding survey. So you want to set up an email template for this questionnaire. So again, you would go in templates and create an email for that post survey. So you would create a general email template that says, hey, insert bride's name, because you can do a template with the bride's name. So great being a part of your wedding. If you could help me by learning a little bit about how I did attach is a post wedding survey. If you guys could fill it out, I would greatly appreciate it. You would attach that email right here. So say this is post wedding survey email and you would set up your post wedding survey and we're going to go down here and we're going to send after project date and say we want to send it four days after the project date. So if the wedding was on Saturday, four days later, it's going to send this. And then you can set it to send automatically or approve before sending. So if this is something that you don't necessarily want to automatically be sent it. You can do approve before sending or you can send it automatically. It's up to you. So let's keep going and let's show the other examples. So you have also send a brochure and this is something I already do. So we'll do, let's go with my uh, 2020 full wedding brochure. This kind of talks about templates. So as you guys can see right here, I have a ton of templates and they're labeled accordingly right here let's go into the f so f0 f0 f1 f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 these are my follow-ups for brochure sent so i kind of labeled them in the order so that when i'm building my workflow i know which order so i have f0 initial phone call brochure so this is the initial email that i send out with the brochure when i jump on a phone call with the client so that is how the brochure sent workflow for me starts is I'm sending them this email template that I created that's like hey here is the brochure that I'm going to be referencing in the phone call that we're having and also here's a little bit about us that's meant for them to read basically after the fact but it's going to send them the brochure with the brochure link and it's an email template so basically when I get a new lead one click I jump on the phone call they have the brochure and I can go over it with them. And again, we can set uh, after activating this workflow zero days and I want to set to approve before sending because that's one thing you want to keep in mind when you're building a workflow. I learned this the hard way. But if your first task, so if you have something like this and it can be automatically sent and you have it zero days after activating the workflow, as soon as you add that workflow to that project, it is going to send that email. If you have that on one of your workflows and you accidentally apply the wrong workflow to the wrong project, it's automatically sending that email. So I highly recommend that your first initial emails, if they're going to be automated, um, you have approved before sending on because you don't want to accidentally send um, the wrong client the wrong email. Continuing with this, we have send emails. And this is probably one of the more simple things. This is sending an automated email template that you already created. Again, if you guys don't know about email templates, I went through a whole video on templates, specifically about email templates, in the last video that we talked about on HoneyBook. So just to show another example, so we have the initial uh, wedding brochure that I'm sending out in this workflow that's right here, zero days after it. So I wanna do after the previous step is complete. So once I send the brochure, uh, let's go with three days later, I want to send them this social media in, email and I want to make it automatic because it's just a general email. There's nothing really too specific about it. So I'm going to make it automatic and that's what I'll have in my thing. And as you guys can see here, this is how you can build out some really clever workflows for your business. So I'm going to click save up here and basically we have created the YouTube ad workflow. Like I said, guys, I have a lot of iterations here of workflows that I built out. And like I said, I'm only using my newest ones. So the 2020s are the main ones that we're using now. As you guys can see, so just for reference, like the booked one, like I have a workflow once I book a client, there's a workflow that it sends them different emails throughout the process leading up to their wedding. Basically, I have some reminders. It's like, hey, there's a hundred days to your wedding. Is there there's something you can do in workflows? So since I showed you how to create a workflow, 
I only owe you guys the favor to show you basically one of my original workflows. I'm not going to show you guys some of my newer ones because they get really, really complex, really high level, and it would take a long time to explain what it is. So I'm going to show you uh, the initial booked workflow that I created. This was the second workflow I ever created in HoneyBook, and it's a series of automated emails and tasks for a book client. So if I book a wedding, I'm going to go into the project. I'll show you guys how you do that in a second, and I'm going to add this workflow to them. So say I just booked Joe and Sarah in HoneyBook. I'm going to go to their project. I'm going to go down and I'll show you guys where you do it. And I'm going to add this workflow to their project. The first task is for me to create a Vibo account because I use Vibo. So I'm going to go on Vibo and I'm going to create them a Vibo account. Side plug, this is old because now you can integrate HoneyBook with Vibo. I can make a whole video on this, or if you guys are on Vibo, just reach out to Michael. He can explain to you guys how you set it up. It's what I have set up already. It's completely automated, so when a client moves from, say, brochure sent to the booked uh, pipeline stage, this automatically happens. So as soon as they move over, it is automated. HoneyBook tells Vibo that this client has been booked. Vibo creates the account and then the email is sent out to the client to download the app. It's all automated. It's pretty cool. But since back then I didn't have that, I had a task to create a Vibo account. So after the Vibo account has been approved and I click that the task is complete, five days later it's going to ask me to verify they are on Vibo. So it's just a reminder that, hey, did they download the app? Are they on it? Are they using it? These other reminders are before the project date. So 200 days out, 150 days out, 100 days out, 50 days out. What these are, are automated emails that are being sent out, and I'll click to edit on it, and this is an automated email template that says, hey, there's 200 days until your wedding, and it reminds them that, hey, you should be filling out your planning form. Very simple, very generic, but it's, it's little things like that, guys, that you can set up to do automatically for your business. It's something you don't have to think about, and the client's getting an email reminding them that, hey, I got 200 days left into my wedding. Wow, my DJ reminded me, that's so cool. Maybe I should tell other people that I know they're getting married of this cool DJ that I have that reminds me of when my wedding is. That's so cool. 150 days out, 100 days out. And you can set these to any quantity. If you want to remind them, they have 95 days left for the wedding, 90 days, 60 days, 100 days, whatever you want. Right here, I had a 40 days out email that got sent out to them, basically telling them to reach out to their DJ and schedule a timeline meeting. So this is basically, we have 40 days into your wedding, which basically means we're getting around that one month to your wedding, and we really want to do a sit-down final planning session to discuss your timeline. Uh, then we get five days before the event. This is a task reminder, so this will pop up on my task window five days before the event and basically be like, follow up with the client and tell them that you're all set. So, hey, so excited for the wedding Saturday. I'm all set. I'm all ready to go. Do you have any last minute questions? Two days after, after the project, I'm sending them a review follow up. So this is an email basically saying, hey, I had a great time at your wedding. Um, if you could, please leave me a review, either good or bad, on the following sites down below. And we link the wedding wire, the knot, Facebook, Google, all those fun sites so that we get some cool reviews. And then cool thing that I do, and this is like, I, 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 I hate giving away tips like this, but sharing the knowledge of all you guys out there 365 days after the project date i send them a one year anniversary email and that is both just a kind gesture to basically be like hey i had a blast congrats on being married one year as well as it's a marketing strategy because it's reminding them of your business and of you as a dj and it's been one year since they got married and maybe they got some other people they know they're getting married and and you as a dj just popped back into their head because you just told them happy one year anniversary marketing and lastly let me show you guys how you add a workflow to a project it's super simple all you're going to do is go into your project so we're going to click on a random one right here so we're going to go into uh, lucy and andrew's project this is a current lead that I have in process right now. On the left is the emails, obviously, that we've already been sending back and forth. A lot of these are actually automated because as you guys can see right here, we have a workflow attached. So if you didn't have a workflow, it looked like this task right here, and you would click the plus sign beside workflow, it would pull up all the workflows that you've already had created, and you can add it directly to that project. Now, obviously, if automization and stuff like this is new to you, this is going to take some time to 
kind of figure out. And one thing I highly suggest you guys do is like basically get a piece of paper and kind of like hatch out what you want in that workflow. How many times do you want to follow up? When do you want to follow up? When do you want to, what do you want to talk about at those follow up stages? Like you guys saw with my workflows, I have a bunch because I've been iterating time and time and basically changing my workflows based on what is working, what is not working, what other reminders I need followed up about. Like in the booked workflow, the original one I had had 10 steps. The current one we're using has 33 steps. That just kind of it talks about all the gaps basically that over time I've found gaps in my process of reminders that both I need and reminders that I need to send the client that I wasn't doing already. Basically it streamlines the whole process for a client that's going to have the exact same experience with you time and time again so that you're always following up with the clients in the same sort of way you're always sending the same reminders and you're delivering that same consistent service because you have these workflows that keep you on a diligent schedule to remind you of what you need to be doing every single day i can't stress this enough without honeybook and these workflows my life running this company would be absolutely miserable if you guys saw on projects right now I think we have somewhere around 150 180 different projects between booked leads and all across the whole entire map there there's like 150 something projects going on in different stages with different workflows so for me to basically be able to know where every single one of these are in the process where I need to be doing reminders and stuff like that it would get very very time consuming and stressful and the beauty of having all those workflows is every day I go into tasks like I'm doing right now in an hour to two hours sometimes even less than that depending on how many tasks come up that day I basically have my business completely caught up not to mention the 50 to 100 plus automated emails that are getting sent out every single day that I don't have to send out manually so guys honeybook workflows super super powerful again I personally the guys that I know that are using HoneyBook are really underestimating the capabilities that you can do between email templates and uh, these workflows you can really 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 set yourself up for scaling really the possibilities are endless guys and I plan on making some sort I don't know how I'm gonna do it yet but I would love to explain to you guys the detailed in depth that I have set up in HoneyBook because I truly love HoneyBook. It's made my life so easy. But to do that would take hours of explaining. So this might be my first venture into some sort of video lecture series. That's kind of like a, you pay for it. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, let me know down in the comment section down below. Um, I'm really considering doing some sort of video lecture series and then it's going to cost a little bit of money because obviously it's very extensive and it basically gives you full rights to basically how I run my business. Oh, and just a little side reference, beside today, if you want to like view more tasks, you can click this little drop down and it will show you that uh, you have 481 upcoming tasks. Don't know how, like those are going to go into 2020 obviously. Um, today I have seven this week I'll have nine but when you get down to the bottom here you have 463 complete I've, I've only been on HoneyBook since like March and I've only had workflows active since I think like April and it's November and I've completed 463 tasks again guys super super underestimated super powerful if this video was helpful for you guys Please slap a big like on this video, share it on Facebook guys, spread the wealth, spread the knowledge. This is just tipping the iceberg of what you can do with automation inside of your company to make your life easier, to simplify your life. But there you guys have it, HoneyBook workflows. Super underestimated in my opinion. Most of the people I know that are on HoneyBook, well most of them are actually photographers, a lot of people that were originally on HoneyBook were photographers. Majority of them are not using workflows or they're not using them to the capability that you can use them. So if you guys like this video, be sure to slap a big fat thumbs up on this video as well as share this video guys. Share it on Facebook, share it everywhere because 
this is some really like golden nuggets right here not just for HoneyBook but just the fact that you can do automization and just basically kind of get the wheels turning for you DJs out there that aren't very business savvy basically trying to make your life easier but obviously HoneyBook is the service that I use and if you guys would like to check out HoneyBook I have a discount little referral link in the description down below so if you guys would uh, do me a favor if you guys want to check out HoneyBook click the link down below get on HoneyBook check it out you guys get a little bit of a free trial to basically initially check it out and you can play around with all this stuff and see if it's for you check out the other videos I've made on HoneyBook check out the videos I've made on Vibo because Vibo is the like dopest planning software there is out there and if you guys like the videos like them comment down below Hit that subscribe button for all the upcoming videos, including gear reviews, business tips. We're going to do audio tips. We're going to do lighting tips. We're going to... This channel is all about education, guys. So do hit that subscribe button. Do turn on those notification bells. But anyways, guys, like always, my name is DJ Rick Webb. Keep them records spinning, guys, and I will see you guys next time.